And would you look at that, I'm back again making another video talking about Pokemon Funko Pops. Um, hey everybody, it's Terrible Shoes and we're back again with another discussion topic here today. Uh, for this video, I am actually talking about a series of Funko Pops that I'm really shocked they haven't attempted to tap into yet. Oh, sorry, sorry. Doggies, uh, doggies, uh, give me one sec, I'm sorry. Sorry about that old dog. Had to make sure she was okay. She is great. So what we're talking about here is I want to talk about some Pokemon Funko Pops that I genuinely think they almost missed the opportunity on making um, because I feel like this would be a like crazy seller. You know what I'm you know what I'm saying? Um, you ever like have an idea that pops into your head and you're like, I really want that as a figure. Um, and actually, the funny part about this is what I'm about to suggest has already been made into figures by much, much better, better, but much more expensive companies like Good Smile, Nendoroid, and such. Um, but yes, so I, I actually think Good Smile owns Nendoroid. I'm not sure. I, I, I don't know what I'm talking about. It's been a long time since I've bought figures like that. So uh, I know figure arts. Uh, that's, I don't, that's a big one. I am here to suggest <laughs> that there should be a line of trainer Pokemon Funko Pops. I don't understand why it hasn't been done yet. And I'm going to explain what line of them I think should come out before anything else. And... You know just my personal opinion on this so in my other video i said i'm not big on pokemon funkos anymore i have almost regulated myself exclusively to special editions at this point um that is because if you look behind me you'll see i have a massive wall here of pokemon funkos i live in a very small place i'm moving though so i will be in a slightly larger place soon and this won't be the background anymore i'm actually going to try to work on getting a core background uh, off topic but so for, so i just was brainstorming some ideas one day when i was thinking about pokemon funkos and actually on one of my videos somebody suggested something that was an idea that had been rolling through my head for a long time as well and his idea well what he said was that he would totally purchase an ash ketchum funko pop to put next to his pikachu one and i had always desired for there to be an anime themed Funko, Pokemon Funko lineup. It could be very simple. Ash Ketchum, Gary Oak, Jesse James, and Professor Oak. Um, and the chase could be some variation of Ash, perhaps one with his hat backwards, you know, iconic from the from uh, the older seasons of Pokemon. Um, and um, and again, let's be real. I feel like most, uh, I, I feel like most, uh, older people, especially those in their, like, mid-20s to 30s are big on Funkos these days. Um, I'm not entirely sure why I think, uh, outside of, obviously, like, they will collect the franchise they really love, but outside of those, they're very cheap plastic figures, so I can't really see, I, I don't understand the people who own walls of them no hate though no hate i think it's really cool when people have a hobby again i always support people and their hobbies but it's not really something I, i've understood you know like I, I i don't understand why you'd want to own a ton of a figure of a franchise you're not really into but but anyway so i think that those could be the starting lineup since i think most funko seasons are like they're those like you know like the sets they release are usually in like fives uh correct me if i'm wrong again i'm not super big on funkos um and i think that would be really cool. Ash, Gary, Jesse James, and Professor Oak. And we already have a Pikachu and a Meowth Funko that could be reprinted to be paired with those trainers. Now, the other one that I wanted to discuss, which was the original idea for this video, is I actually think a uh, chain of the Kanto Gym Leaders and Red would be a really, really cool uh, thing as well. So I was thinking that the lines for that could go like this. Season 1 or Block 1 could be Red, Brock, Misty, Surge, and perhaps Erica. Or really any interchangeable uh, gym leader there. Uh, and then obviously the second block would be Blue. Or um, could be Blue, yes. Uh, I was thinking possibly Green as well because she was the trainer in, in uh, Leaf Green. 
but uh, I don't know. I feel I feel like they would go for blue first, so I'm just gonna say it could be blue or green. Sub either of them in, and uh, then it would be you know, Koga, Sabrina. You get what I'm saying. The final four gym leaders, and it works out fine because that five block is filled out. One is by the trainer, one is by their rival, and then the four gym leaders, four gym leaders. It would work out very well. These would be stupid money printers, like. Funko could just go to the government and have them print money if they suggested this, I'm pretty sure. Because that was what the equivalent would be. Like, how many people would buy these? I know for a fact that um, I would absolutely be fooled into buying these uh, cheap plastic figures purely based off nostalgia. And I'm sure most others would as well. Um, now, Chase is for those. Gonna be real with ya. I don't really uh, know. Uh, perhaps green could be some kind of convention special thing. If, if, or blue, if they decided to go with green for the main trainer for block two. Um, again, this is just an idea of mine I'm throwing out there. Uh, what do I know? I'm just a guy who likes Pokemon. And Pokemon Funkos. So, um, that's really it. That's all I came here to discuss today was, uh, you know, my, my ideas for a line of Pokemon Funkos that would be, uh, cool. So anyway, uh, thank you for tuning into my video. Um, please like and subscribe, share, comment, whatever you want. It helps me out a ton and encourages me to make more content. Um, and I appreciate every single one of you. I will catch you guys all in the next video. And uh, again, thank you all for everything. We passed 6,500 subscribers recently. And that's so, so cool to me. Um, I can't thank you guys enough. Again, thank you, and peace out. I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.